Let's talk about where you should go to find freelancers and freelancing firms. For me, there are the big three, Elance, Odesk, and Freelancer.com. I'm sure you've used other websites. People per hour seems to be a decent one. There are lots of freelancing sites that target certain niches. You'll notice things like like video pixies or freelancers for videos specifically. In this course, we're talking more about building mobile applications or web applications, so we're going to focus on software freelancers. The big three, Elance, Odesk, and Freelancer, these are the ones I've used throughout my career, and these are the ones I've used for over 50, 60 apps. Each one of these has their own pros and cons. Elance is probably by far my favorite for finding high-quality contractors. When you bid on Elance, you can get bids from pretty much all over the world. When you typically post something, I see a good mix between Western countries and typical outsource countries, and then people all in between. You'll find a lot of freelancers who are simply location independent, like traveling programmers. Very, very vibrant community of people. Elance is where you would go if you were looking for better established firms or essentially higher quality freelancers. Freelancers that are in the mature stage of their freelancing career. A lot of programmers who have full-time jobs that work at reputable companies will go on Elance and bid on projects for their weekends and off hours. The firms on Elance typically have better portfolios. They're usually better at articulating what they're good at. They are typically going to give you better, more thoughtful responses to your project briefs. Now, like the other three, it doesn't cost any money to post. The difference is here, you'll notice that most people that bid have read your project and are, will actually respond with detail and with thoughts on it. That obviously comes with a downside. You'll notice that in Elance, the prices are usually a bit higher. If you were to take the same application with the same brief and post them across these three systems, Elance, you'll notice on average, is going to have the highest price. And also the timeline probably is going to be longer. And obviously the reason is because the people who are bidding have more experience and they also probably have more clientele themselves. So they're not going to lie and say that they're going to rush the project. And they're also not going to be taking kind of a loss leader position, meaning that they're not going to be pricing so low that they're actually losing money just to get your business. The second one is Odesk. Odesk and Elance, I believe, are a merged company, but they use two different products. Odesk is a little bit different. It's not like Elance in the sense that everybody who bids is going to be a high quality Odesk differentiates themselves by what they use called the team view, and they have the thing called a team room. How the team room works. 